very talented bunch of creative writers who are using the power of writing and words to express people who may not have a voice and give them a vocal point to be heard. And this is it for you now. And right, Arborio Basmati, long grain. It brings comfort, comfort to every, every tongue. tongue. Janus split slit tongue continue the lines. When you think of people meeting to raise awareness of asylum seekers' rights, what comes to mind? Perhaps people marching through the streets, waving signs and chanting. Well, what about people reading poetry? This is a group called Writing Wrongs. It's a collective of spoken word artists in Wakefield that aim to highlight issues facing asylum seekers and refugees. They're trying to highlight their plight, one which is often ignored or vilified by the mainstream media. The chair of Wakefield City of Sanctuary, a refugee support group, recently came along to a Writing Wrongs meetup inspired by some of the poetry written about the very group of people he worked so hard to help. Well, I was invited along because uh, a couple of clips went up of uh, two of the poets had gone down to the drop-in uh, and they had talked to people and they were really quite shocked. And they uh, came back and wrote uh, a couple of poems, uh, which I've seen on YouTube, and uh, I was very so much impressed that these people were picking up this idea that I came along to offer whatever knowledge and background and support I could do. Brian has worked with the City of Sanctuary for years, and although he works hard to help asylum seekers settle in the UK, for most refugees, getting to that point in which help can be received isn't easy. Uh, at the present time, there's only one place in the country where you can, in fact, apply for asylum, and that's down in Croydon. So if you're dropped off the back of a bus, as you might say, uh, up here, you've got to get down to Croydon under your own steam. From there, if your, your initial claim is accepted that you are prima facie actually um, an asylum seeker, then in fact you will be sent to one of the five initial accommodation centres in the country, uh, one in London, one in Cardiff, one in um, Birmingham, one in Liverpool and one in Wakefield. Once they arrive in Wakefield, the City of Sanctuary is a vital source of support for a community of people often overlooked or even treated with contempt. Uh, one of the main purposes of City of Sanctuary was not so much to give support, which we try to do, to the city, it was actually to change the attitude of the indigenous population. And it takes a long time to change the whole, but you've got to start somewhere. Writing Wrongs was formed by Sarah Cobham, a volunteer at Wakefield District City of Sanctuary, who works with Brian to try and change the attitude towards refugees that some of the public share. The group meets regularly, often going out and meeting refugees to learn from them and give them a voice. For me, it's, it's a bit more of a sophisticated way of looking at it. So rather than the pendulum swinging you know, to, to, to an extreme, it's a way of internally, uh, of externally uh, vocalising the internal protest, if you like. So I approached these guys and said, look, how do you feel about responding creative in a creative way to because uh, we're all spoken word artists to, to to sort of combat this or turn it around or tell stories or somehow and I know a lot of people are doing this but not in Wakefield um, and of course we're a reception centre here so there's quite a lot of hostility. Using poetry as a tool allows some of the world's most disadvantaged people a way to communicate. If you want to hear more of what they have to say. You can check out Writing Wrongs on YouTube or visit their centre in Wakefield. There you are, the power of words making a beautiful impact in society there, doing great things. And it just shows you, as I say, what powerful words can mean and resonate with people. Now we still 